Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create multi-document MongoDB transaction using Node.js application. I have logged into my MongoDB account. Click connect. So we are going to connect our, to our application using the driver. So I am click drivers. So already the driver Node.js is selected and already have installed the MongoDB driver. So copy the connection string. I am going to use Visual Studio Code Editor for adding my application code. First, I am going to create a .env file where I am going to add my connection string. I am going to call the environment variable as mongodb underscore URI. Paste the connection string which we copied. We need to replace this password with the actual password. I have updated the password and saved the file. Now, I am going to add my application code. I am going to call it as app.js. First, we need to require the mongodb driver mongo client require mongodb so next we need to require dot env because we are going to load the environment variables okay so now we are going to get the uri process dot env dot mongo db underscore uri okay then we are going to get the client new mongo client we need to pass the uri to it okay what we are going to do now is a multi document transaction that is i am going to transfer money from one account to the another account so the amount has to be debited from one account and it has to be credited in another account and i want to perform these two transaction as a single unit of work so either both has to succeed or both should fail okay so first i'm going to get the account number for the sender okay so i'm going to call it a sender account id and i'm going to specify this is thousand then i'm going to get the receiver account id okay which i'm going to give it as thousand five right and then i'm going to add the transaction amount okay i'm just going to keep it as 100 okay so, so then i'm going to get the accounts collection accounts okay so it is going to be client.db and this accounts collection is in the bank database so i've given the database name then i need to give the collection name so obviously it is the accounts collection okay so now i'm going to create a session client dot start session okay then i'm going to add my function main function main okay first we are going to add the try block okay so what i'm going to do now is first i'm going to print those two documents okay on which i'm going to perform the transaction and then uh, I'll be performing the transaction. Then at the end of the transaction, I'm again, I'm going to print to confirm the transaction is successful. Okay. And the important thing is this transaction has to get completed within 60 seconds. That is within one minute. Okay. First, what I'm going to do is let, I'm going to find. Okay. So it's going to be counts dot find. Okay, so I'm going to find the two documents using the account ID. Okay, I want to print two documents, so I'm just going to do the in operator. Okay, so here I'm going to specify both the account ID as well as the, the receiver account ID. Okay, so this is done, right? So then now I'm going to print them. Okay, for await const doc. Okay, of cursor. Okay, then I'm going to do console.log the doc. Okay, good. So now I'm going to perform the transaction. I'm going to start the session with the transaction. Await session dot with transaction. Okay, okay, we need to async okay so now i'm going to add the code to which is going to be part of this transaction okay so i'm going to say await 
accounts dot update one okay so i'm going to give the account id which is going to be the sender okay so then we are going to increment use the increment operator okay and then the balance so i'm going to this is sender so we are going to reduce the amount okay so which we are going to reduce the transaction amount okay so this is fine right and then i'm going to do the same thing this again we are going to update one so this time the account id is going to be the, the receiver account id okay and then so here uh, we need to add the even the session okay so add the session okay so here again we are going to use the increment operator okay then we are going to add the amount earlier it was we removed the here we are going to credit the transaction amount to this account okay we need to give the session okay so this is fine right so we have performed these two operations so just will print okay console dot log just will see okay committing transaction okay so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to just print this again okay fine right then i'm going to add a catch block and then i'm going to print console dot error okay so i'm going to say transaction aborted then the error okay so then we are going to have a finally so the finally block we are going to first in this session right and then we are going to do a client close okay all good so now i'm going to call the main function okay i'm going to save the changes okay now i'm going to open a new terminal then going to run the program okay so we could see right so these are the two accounts account id 1001 belongs to alex and he has a balance 7500 and the account uh, the receiver account is uh, with account id 1005 belongs to anu it has 1898 okay then the transaction got completed and now we could see 100 has been reduced from the alex account so now, so now it is 7400 and 100 has been added to the anu's account so now it become 1998 in this demo we have seen how to create multi-document mongodb transaction in node.js application if you like this demo please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo